Chris from TechMedic here with a proverbial clash of the titans. We have Amazon Basics Duracell, Energizer, and Rayovac AA batteries. They all have similar shelf life dates. They're all good through 2027 for shelf life. We have four identical LED flashlights. These are a low power flashlight. The manufacturer claims that they will run for 23 hours and put out 12 lumens. So our test here, each flashlight will be loaded with two batteries, one of each brand. We'll have a time lapse video going and we'll see which lasts the longest. It will be a low drain, long duration test, just due to the nature of these lights. Hopefully we'll do a high drain test in the future. Here's our rig, not the most sophisticated thing in the history of man, but it should do nicely. We have a GoPro here on 4K, 60 second time lapse video. Uh, it's plugged into power so the battery won't die on it. We're expecting this to last about 23 some hours. So I'm going to activate the GoPro now. And I will activate the flashlights. All right, and now every 60 seconds that GoPro will take an image. And once we have some results, we'll be back. Here we are over 52 hours into this test. And the results are looking a little surprising. Not all batteries are created equal. As you can see clearly one is way ahead of the others. None of the batteries of any brand show any leakage or swelling from the full discharge. Here we have the results, uh, tabulated all of our data. So we're looking at the hours the flashlights are running across the top row there. The columns are the different flashlights and they're, this is just a rough estimate percentage of light output. So we start obviously at 100% light output from all the lights. At one day, they were still all at 100%. Rapidly, at about the 37 hour mark, the Amazon was still putting out full brightness. The Rayovac was still pretty bright. The Duracell and Energizer had both cut by about half their output. Let's see, 49 hours, the Amazon was still very bright. The Rayovac had gone down to the brightness that the Duracell and Energizers had been at, and both of them dimmed out a little bit. 52 hours, the Amazon was still nice, bright, functional, workable light. The Duracell and Rayovac were both getting dim enough you could work with it, but you know your battery's about to die, and the Energizer was just dim. 57 hours, the Amazon actually dimmed down. And with the Duracell and Rayovac, you both still had very dim lights. Enough to see by, but just enough. 70 hours, all but the Duracell was essentially dead with just a very faint glow. Even the Duracell wasn't a workable amount of light. 92 hours, just the Duracell and Rayovac were still outputting a very faint glow. 113 hours, the Duracell, very faint glow. 121 hours, everything was finally dead. So by looking at the bar graph here, you'll see the Amazon actually put out a bright, very useful, workable light for much longer than all the other brands. The Duracell and Energizer, their profiles are very similar up until the 50 hour mark. The Rayovac, not quite as long of a useful output as the Amazon batteries, but close. So it's very surprising to see both economy battery brands outputting useful amounts of power slightly longer than the big name more expensive batteries. Now 
this was a low draw test. However, looking at all the marketing and advertising of Duracell and Energizer, you always see the longest run times, which they did have the longest run times for sure. However, at the expense of having the shortest useful run time. Again, this is a very subjective test. It was just four flashlights off the shelf. It is a low drain test. They were just LEDs. They are low output LEDs. But for uh, as far as I'm concerned, the Amazons obviously are the best price point. And it looks to me like they're the most useful. I would love to do another test on this on a higher drain appliance. However, buying four high drain appliances and the batteries to run everything is a little pricey. So if this video gets, uh, let's say, 100,000 views, we'll do the test on a high drain appliance. So there we go. I still maintain my recommendation of Amazon Basics batteries. And now I have some data to back that up.